My dad is going to be the star of this show on this video because we're going to put our little lock keypad in our... our it's a latchet. A latchet. That's what it's called. It's a latchet. <laughs> so enjoy his entertainment and also so will Dustin. Yeah. I will be recording. And you know what the purpose of us getting this was, right? Should we tell him? No. I think we should tell him. No. Yeah, I think we should. So when we were in Gatlinburg in October of 2022, somebody came out of the RV and decided to forget the key. Yeah, but I didn't know it was going to lock behind me. Yeah, well, it did. And the guy was there for 10, 10 seconds, and it cost me $75. This guy had a, a whole ring of keys that had about all these different RVs. Keys. Yeah, all these different RVs. He took he, the key and went, there you go. Yep, here's now $75. Thank you. Very little. Yep. We have DIY DJ here, a.k.a. my father-in-law, to help put in our latchet lock on the right heel. So today's entertainment is going to be brought to you by... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Do you want on the front door or the back door? We don't have a back door. Okay, then we'll put it on the front. First thing we want to do is go through what comes in the box. It's a great RV door lock by Latchet. And it comes with everything you need. It fits multiple RVs, whether it be a pull behind, a cargo trailer, uh, most fifth wheels. So let's get her started. Let's open it up. Of course, the instructions. Yeah, see where I get it from? <laughs> there's a little keychain for you. So, why they give you that, I don't know because there's no keys required. This, it comes with it, so it's all the tools you'll need. I will graduate into a big boy screwdriver. Oh! So, we'll use this for installation. It comes with the batteries. There's the latch key fob, and it oh. does come with backup keys, hence the keychain. My bad. <laughs> and here's the other wireless fob. And of course, the lock itself. As you see, when we get into taking off the old one, the screw sets are about the same, so it's going to be a very simple installation. Okay, and then here's obviously the latch. Okay, so we're all set. So, first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and remove the old lock. You want to open the door? <laughs> but first, undo the screws on the inside. Now, you can do this with a drill, but I recommend doing it manually because the drill is pretty powerful, and if you undo it too fast or do it too tight, it could strip the screws, and it's not worth it. This will pop right off in your hand. In your hand. Yes. And then what you do is come around to the front. Then what you've got to do is take these out, okay, for the catch. Again, same tool. And once you do this, you could probably... Get rid of your old one here, or save it as a backup just in case, but I seriously doubt it will be required. Bada bing. I don't know what happened to bing, but bada ain't working. <laughs> Should pop out. Hold, please. Backup eyes. Oh, there's a bug. Ew. Stink bug. I think I smell something. Pull the latch in. Don't force it, but it, it will come out. You just push it to the outside, and it slides right out. Now you got a nice hole in your wall. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? <laughs> really? You took my line. <laughs> All right. So now, easy enough, we'll do this lock. It's already assembled, so what we're going to do is take the four screws off the back of here, and we'll separate it and sandwich it Does in between the door. Does this other strike the plate have to come off as well? Eventually, yes, sir. Okay. You take off these screws. And again, like I said, it would be a lot easier with a drill, but um, it just, you don't want to take the chance of stripping it because then that could cause you even another set of problems. Yeah, I'd say make sure you keep at least one set of keys with you because if you lock this thing and your batteries go dead on you, you're going to be SOL. And then you're going to have to call the locksmith again. So be sure to keep at least one of these keys with you. That way, something silly like that doesn't happen. So you have to take that this apart? This comes apart, yes, because that'll sandwich in between the door. Mm -hmm. It comes uh, out of the latch, so make sure when you, we line it up, we're going to make sure that orange goes into that, because that'll be your lock locking mechanism from the inside. Locking what? Uh, he your locking mechanism from the inside. <laughs> the mechanism. Okay. The mechanism. Okay. Hey, baby, get it honestly. Uh, yeah, I think you got that right. So, cool, oddly enough, but systematically, it, it's designed just to pop right in. The 
latch first so it goes inside and it should be the exact same size. Oh, bada, bada bing, bada, bada boom. boom. See? Boom. And that's the new look of the outside. Oh. So there's no adjustments need to be made, no cutting, no nothing. All right. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to put the other side on. And we got to do, what you got to make sure we do is plug it in. So take a look at the outlet yep. right there, the yep. little plug for the battery operations. And then we're going to make sure that that orange thing goes into this fob so you can do the deadbolt. So here's the plug. So I'm going to plug that in. But we probably should put the batteries in first. How about that? <laughs> There's a plan. But here's the thing. Once it's installed, you just take that one screw out and you replace the batteries from the inside of the camper. Oh, so very it's, nice. It's easy. Four double A's. A's. Four double A's. Four double A's. I made myself useful. Oh, look at you. Don't lose that screw. Tiny. Tiny. That's an important one. These are the best batteries known to mankind. They'll probably change in about three weeks, but hey, get the job done. <laughs> They're no Duracell. See how did that's the deadbolt. Once you get that moving, you're safe to go ahead and screw it onto the door and to the other side. So probably before you screw this in. <laughs> See? I'm good for something. You want to plug it in. <laughs> Not bad. There she goes. Oh, there it is. So what what we will do is we'll make sure we line this up again. Okay, and I'm only going to put one screw in, then I'm going to test it, make sure it locks and unlocks before I put it all together. That way we, we don't have to take back out screws. Or the anything. cool part, you don't need glasses to see the numbers. They're big enough for even me to see. So the initial unit comes up with, and we'll see if you can see the deadbolt come out. One, two, three, four, lock. And there you go. You can feel it hand tighten. The other reason why to use the screwdriver versus the drill, if you over tighten, it'll strip. But just hand tighten it to where it feels nice and snug. And if you don't do it tight enough, see that's perfect. Eventually, if it feels like it's coming loose, you can just go back in there and retighten it. But it's better that than stripping the screws out because then you got to order these kind of screws and go to your Home Depot and you can grab some. But lock is that way. This All right, so tell, tell our viewers what's going on right now. So right now we've went ahead and put our four screws in. We put the sandwiches together. But for some reason, the handle's stuck and it doesn't unlock from here. It should pop closed, this lever right here, but it's stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and see what went wrong. Maybe there's a piece of foam stuck in there or something like that that you know, yeah. pushed it in. Yeah. But I'll, I'll take it apart again real quick and I'll let you know what may cause that and how easy it is to fix. So if you guys come across it, then you'll know what to do. It's good that we ran into it because it, not every installation goes perfect. Yeah. No worries. Before you put your screws in, make sure that not only does the deadbolt work, but the regular open and close latch. The back set goes in and out like it's supposed to. Now you're safe to put the screws back in. It's in my left hand pocket in my right hand. <laughs> Someone, Dustin was holding that in. Tell them what you were doing, babe, to help. Oh, on this side, if you have two people, it's a lot easier. So instead of him having to fiddle with this orange set and use his right hand to to push this little thumb set in. If you have somebody else, you can just simply do this, sorry, um, on the other side and it helps out when you're setting everything into its correct position. See the deadbolt? Yep. And the opening. Yep. Now we're cooking with bacon grease. You're being a whiner, baby whiner. All right, this, this particular model uh, trailer. 295RL. Grand design. The screws that came with the lock were a quarter of an inch too long, so it actually ran into the jam back here, as you can see, Dustin. Yeah. They were too long, so we're going to use the same screws from the old one. Technically, this striker plate is the exact same as the old striker plate, so you really don't have to replace it because it's designed to fit each model, but we're still nice and tight. I almost prefer to go with the shorters. Not that it matters too much, but there's two different sizes here, probably depending on the thickness of your door. Actually, I take it back, there's three different sizes in here based on the thickness of your door. So we're going to go with the medium size. The medium. The drill probably would come in handy here too, just because the door keeps wobbling. You talking about this, Dad? That thing, yeah, that noise. Trusty the wall drill. Again, pick it up at your friendly Home Depot store. <laughs> Did you work for Home Depot or anything, Dad? No, just a little bit. Close the door. This is again on the test combination that it comes with. One, two, 
three, four, you'll hear the beep every time. Lock button. It'll beep twice. Locked. Okay? Now you'll go to unlock. Same thing. Door pops right open. So when you lock this door, if you don't want it to pop open as soon as you unlock it, you should just push it back shut. Because if you don't, when you unlock it, it's going to like already be open and it's going to jump out at you. So whenever you're testing the door, just make sure you just push it. The installation. There you have the installation of your new RV latchet door, door lock. Automate, automatic door lock. Yeah. So you want to take the fobs out of the box? <laughs> they work better that way. Fob for the missus. Fob for the mister. All right, so so far I'm really liking this thing. If you guys are interested in getting yourself an RV door lock from Latchet, they're only a couple hundred bucks, not too big of a price to put on some extra protection on your door. Um, Hashtag you... non-spons. What? Hashtag non-spons. Non-spons? It's not sponsored. Yeah, we're not sponsored by them, but in any kind of way. But if you want to get one, check out the link in the description below, and it'll take you right to the Amazon page where you can pick yourself up a RV door lock. Okay. So leading right into that, what we're going to do is take the fob, very simple. So remember this little tool that I threw over my shoulder? It comes in handy. So I'm going to throw it. <laughs> Inside, you're going to see a little square box on off. And this is for the fob learn. So you'll see both those. Click it up. Make sure it's on. And stick this pin inside the learn. And on the key fob, you want to push the lock button on the left hand side, left bottom, at the same time. Push that in. Hold this. Ooh, that light has to mean something. There you go. And now when you do the green side, the lock, I'm sorry, the black side, unlock and lock. Woo. So now you can just do it with a key fob. What do they the call that? Keyless entry. Keyless entry. Very nice. High five. Magic. Magic man. <laughs> so, need one installed? It's very simple to do yourself. It'll save you probably about 120 bucks for somebody to install it. Do it yourself. Take you 10, 15 minutes. Take your time. Try and tighten the screws here. You can use a drill on this side and a drill on that side to put the screws in. Other than that, it works like magic. Instructions are very simple to follow. All right, try it. So I'm trying to see how far you can be away from the, the door of your RV or camper and use the remote. Hit the lock button. Right. Now go back further. Go back further. <laughs> Unlock. It unlocked. It's locked. It's locked. How about that? How about that? I'm four car lengths away right now. <laughs> it's easy 50 feet. Just in, push the, the back, <laughs> push, push the thumb latch in. Hey Dustin, tell them where the camera is. The camera? Right here. Oh, right there. There's five of them. I know. <laughs> look in the middle one. All right. I look into it. my eyes. And, and look, I've been camping for six years, so I have a beard. What? So let's do the test with the one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, test video. You like do hit pause once in a while, right? I mean, maybe. I can't miss any of your goofiness, right, so Dad. So in, then hook up the orange latch. Ignore the child screaming. A little smaller, a little larger than that. Okay, I know, that's what she said. <laughs> but the size doesn't matter. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh... See, you drop it in the seashells, that screw's gone. <laughs> my hat silly what am i doing no. diy do it yourself dj dougie fresh if you want the caption but i'm not going to say that well, so cool dj dougie fresh <laughs> <laughs> uh, put your thing on your phone you what what <laughs> this, is just this is all you dad <laughs> and we do recommend it so far i like it a lot and you are tiny no, that's it. oh watch your face there schnitz <laughs>